so we're gonna start here um, on the on this position here, the quarter quarter mountain right here. Okay. So a lot of times when you go fully mount, your opponent start recovering the guard, and then he's gonna trap uh, your leg like this. Okay. And a lot of times people they, they get the underhook and they start going to a knee cut. Okay. Or they're gonna try to start attacking the back from the opponent with the Kimura trap. But sometimes when you try to go for, uh, to the back here, your opponent will feel that he's gonna put it back on the floor and then he end up coming up, right? Or even sometimes you try to go for the collar choke right here, right? As a ball and arrow, right? You can go and choke like this. But a lot of times you can't find this collar grip right here. Okay, one, because your opponent's controlling his collar or he's closing the arm or even like your arms uh, your hand right here, it's, it's not getting the, the collar because you see like I need to pull the collar down in order to control it, right? And a lot of times my opponent is fighting, okay, with the hand on the collar, so I can't get the collar right here. So what you're going to do first is putting your chest behind his, his back, of course, okay? In the meantime, of course, he's trying to get the half guard right here. Okay, once he, he turns sideways, I don't want to let my opponent put his back on the floor like this. Okay. So let's say I'm in the mount position right here. And they start turning. And they start like trying to put on the, the leg, trapping my leg right here. Okay. I'm going to advance my knee that's behind him close to his shoulder. Okay. And then I can use my, my foot like this or like that. Okay. So, see which one you, you prefer. In this case here, I like to build my foot like this, okay? I feel like when I go with my toes on the mat right here, um, it's hard for me to control or put my weight on him. I wanna be with my weight on his, on his back right here, okay? So I'm gonna lower myself like this. Now, look, I'm gonna control his lapel, right, right at the edge of his lapel, right at the end of the lapel here. And I'll feed right here. I'll grab like this. So your opponent won't, uh, he's not gonna be worried about that. He's concerned about controlling here near the neck, okay? So I'm gonna grab here like this, okay? And once I grab here, now you see this part of his lapel, it's gonna be like a rope around his neck, okay? So I'm gonna bring my hand, okay? That's uh, on top, my left hand, behind his, his head. Okay, and I'll control my bicep here. Okay, and now I'm gonna start pulling the the collar to me here. Okay, to choke him. So I'm gonna start doing this. And now, uh, Dom is he's he's not feeling the same way as we're going right here. Okay, so right here it requires a strong grip. Okay, you can get in. Uh, require you guys can get in. So it requires like a really strong grip. Okay, it's gonna feel right away. It's very, very good. But the thing is, it's hard for you to control. So in this, this case right here, I'm gonna control the lapel and make sure you have some slack, okay? And your opponent is not gonna be worried about this. Now, I post my hand on my bicep here, okay? Like this, and then I slide, okay? So you see like the lapel over here, and my forearm will be on top. So lapel under his neck, forearm on top, and I'm gonna start pulling. Right. And at the same time that I'm grabbing here, and I'm going for the choke, make sure you feel the lapel attached to his neck. Now your opponent will try to face you to escape. More he turn to me, more he's gonna get choked, okay? And if you turn the belly down, he's gonna give me the back, okay? So I keep my foot in between his legs, I don't, I don't need to worry about like going to mount, okay? Keep my foot right here. Only if I need to score the points, I would say like I go like this and control so I have, I'll get like four points. But you can keep the hook inside, okay? The foot inside. Just in case like you start going for the choke and he's not tapping, now you can start like going down, stepping the leg over his shoulder right here and now closing and then pulling to choke. Okay. With the hook in between the legs, also you can go to the back, okay? 
but I suggest you to go to the choke fully. So once you get the, the control of the, the collar, just go for, for the choke. Okay, it's a very powerful choke. So again, so I'm on the mount position here. Okay, and then he's gonna start escaping, he's gonna trap my, my leg. Okay, one thing I need to do here, okay, I need to pass his tricep to this side right here, okay? I cannot let his form be on my hip right here on my belly, you see? So I can, I can make a C grip and just push his tricep, okay, in front of my chest. Now I'm gonna advance my right knee close to his head right here, okay? And I'll be like, kinda like in a seatbelt position, right? Now it's very important to use my chest against his, his back right here, the back of his shoulder, okay? In the meantime, I'm gonna start opening the lapel and I'll control the lapel right here. Just make sure the lapel goes between the arms, okay? I don't wanna go over the arm here or over this arm right here. Go between the arms here, okay? Control, make sure you have some slack. Don't grab right here. You got some slack right here. He's like working to the fan, right? Now I'm gonna pulse my shoulder and I slide extending my right arm. Wait for the choke, okay? And if he's not tapping here, right now I'm not forcing the choke, okay? I'm gonna sit down, putting my butt on the floor. Mm -hmm. So right here, okay? And now I bring and lift him a little bit and pass my leg over his shoulder. And now I go with the other leg over like this and now I start fully, okay? With this uh, arm right here, okay? It's gonna be really hard for him to turn away from you. Okay, that's the reason I trapped this arm here, okay? My hand will help me to, to push his head down against the collar, okay? But also not letting him turn. Because if I go just like this, without the arm, he's gonna turn the belly down, he's gonna escape, you see? So for the beginners, very important to control the arm here, trap. And if he's closing the elbow, when you, when you try to bring the, the hand on your shoulder, close your elbow, go over here, make sure you don't go like near the armpit. See, with my forearm doesn't go here. My forearm goes towards the side of the elbow so I can lift his arm disconnect his elbow from his body here. So during the fight, he's gonna be stiff and strong. So I go here, one, and then two. Now I slide and start choking, sit, pass my leg over, and then trap. Now I just pull with my arm extended. Okay, this arm here must be extended. Then I do this with my wrist, okay? Again, he's gonna try to escape. Trap, push, it, push his bicep. As he tried to escape, look, I go for a C grip like this. Push, and I get here. Control the collar, trap, sit. You see how I sit on my hip? I don't go like this, okay? This is wrong, okay? So go here, it's more comfortable. And now pass the leg over. And let's say if he's trapping your leg here, you just want to take like this and you can start working to take his back while we still choke him. Okay. You guys got it? All right. So first, let's just practice this position like this. Okay. You guys can uh, go for any guard pass. Okay. So I go for a knee cut. I pass. I make transition to mount. He's going to try to recover. Okay. C grip, seat belt, advance, get the lapel, control the lapel, and then you choke from here, sit down, pass the leg over, choke from here, he's not tapping, you can get the hooks. The reason I put the hooks in is just to score the four points. If I'm in a competition, right, uh, it's good to score the four points when you're attacking the back, especially if you if the fight is like 0-0 zero, zero, or if you're losing, you need the points. But if you don't need the points, just go for the submission, okay? And if your opponent open the legs, you can trap uh, the legs around his shoulder and arm, okay? Kind of like a reverse triangle, bone arrow, 
okay? Very simple technique, but really effective. Uh, actually, I just figured out this, this technique uh, last week I was rolling with a brown belt and he turned like this. I was looking forward to choking, but I, I saw the lapel. Like, let me grab the lapel, I grabbed the lapel and I did this. And surprisingly, like, it was really powerful and it's that quick, okay? So just maintain the grip, okay, and extend your arm. Don't choke like this, okay? Like, with your arms like this. So make sure you extend, okay? And then you slide your hand, okay, that goes over the arm on the forearm, okay? So then you can get a really good grip and really good control of the position, okay? All right, let's work. One, two, three. So one thing really important on the choke, okay? So he's strapping your leg, trying to recover the guard. You're already like halfway to his back, okay? Um, once you control the collar, okay, right here, you're gonna control pass under his arm. And the reason that I'm not grabbing the collar here again, for those who, come, uh, who came late, is because like he's using his hand near his arm and I can't get the, the collar, okay? So I'm gonna pass the lapel between his arms, okay? And I control with my bottom hand. Once I control, I gotta feel the lapel touching his neck right here, okay? So if in my hand is here, it's not gonna work. So I gotta touch his neck right here, and then I control my forearm here. Hand slides towards the forearm, and my goal is to go towards my wrist with my hand, okay? So when I get here, now I'm gonna pull, I shrug with my shoulder, and then push with my hand that's on top to choke him out. Yeah, it's just... Sorry. Oh, like this? Uh, you know, like it's it's harder for me to choke him like this, but I can still like get him yeah. as long as I have the collar under his neck. I cannot have his my uh, his collar like on his face like this. So it needs to go under the neck. Okay. It feels like my hand is just choking me. That's yeah. It doesn't feel like it's helping me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If that happens, just go for it. Okay. But our intention is to get the neck only, okay? But if his hand is on the way, it's okay. Sometimes that happens. So when I get here, one thing you need to understand, this choke right here, controlling only the collar, is not gonna work if you grab the collar, if you grab the pants like this and try to do as a bow and arrow, okay? Like this, it's not gonna work. You see, it's loose. You see that? So you need this form here, the hand behind his neck, to support his head and also to push his head against the the collar okay and you get the right angle as well so if you go just like this it's not gonna work the bow and arrow works more with this grip here like on the uh, closest side to his uh, neck okay so right here we're using the lapel so we need this support right here so when you're here you can control like that and if you pass the leg here let's say he's not letting you put in the shoulder uh, the leg over his shoulder, right? He's like trying to go this way. You can pass the head here as well and start pushing. <laughs> yeah, you can start passing the head here. And the, 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 the leg, sorry, the leg over the head. And the leg is gonna do the same role as the, as the arm here, okay? So you keep the arm and then you just increase the size of the pillow, you know? So like, this is the first pillow, this is the second pillow. So you just push his, his uh, neck against the collar, okay? Because sometimes your opponent is it's smart, right? Like when I go down, he knows if I pass the leg over his shoulder, it's gonna be over. So I got here, he's gonna start bridging, exactly. So it'll be on this angle, and then you step your leg like this, and then you just start pushing like that, okay? All right, so now, let's work like this. We gotta do, this sweep right here, the Lanivo guard, okay? We're gonna do an overhead sweep. I'm gonna control same side collar and the sleeve, one foot on the hip, okay? So my right foot, the same side, I'm controlling the collar, pushing the hips, okay? And you know, I'm trying to push him and he's gonna try to square it up again. And when he's trying to square it up, I'm gonna bring my knees to my chest here and I'm gonna like sweep him, okay? And usually when you mount on him on this sweep, he's gonna trap her leg like this. 
So now you got the C grip. And notice how I do the C grip here. I'm not pushing like this. This is kind of like awkward. I push like this, okay? Here is like easier for me to push his tricep. He push his arm inside. I got the C belt. Now I'm gonna start opening his lapel. While I'm trying to grab the neck here, he's like defending. I feed the lapel. Here, trap the arm, and I start going for the choke, okay? If I can pull the leg towards me and pass the leg over, try this one as well. I let go the, the collar just to make sure don't, don't suffer right there. <laughs> Again. Again, so I'm here. So I have the De La Riva guard, okay? I'm gonna push him first, and then he's gonna react. I'm gonna load him up, bring my knees to my chest, okay? I need to do this push first. Don't try to pull him right away. Okay, because if I pull him, his reaction is going backwards, okay? If I push him, his reaction is going forward. So I push, he's going forward, and then I'm gonna start sweeping overhead, mount, press his arm to the side, control, feed the lapel. Once I feed the lapel, I sit down here, okay? And now look, bring my knee to my chest, and then pass the leg over and then get the arm trapped and now the head trapped as well. And just maintain here. When you get here, you just shrug. Pulling more the, the hand on the collar to tap your plant out, okay? Uh, you guys have any question? All right, so just one thing to keep in mind. If you control the lapel like that, don't go as a ball and arrow, okay? It's not gonna work, all right? You gotta always trap the arm. That's the way it's gonna work because you're gonna push the head against the collar. Keep that in mind, okay? Let's work. One, two, three. There are like different ways to sweep overhead. We use the De La Riva, okay? Uh, we're gonna start standing, right? I control collar and sleeve. That's a very common position in Jiu-Jitsu. Forehead and forehead, like we go here, right? So I need to pull guard and I need to pull going towards the side of the De La Riva. Okay. I'm not gonna pull like walking this way. Okay, I need to circle this way. The same side I'm gonna apply the Hiva. Uh, usually it's the same side I have the tricep here, okay? The control of the tricep here. So I go here, circle this way, see? Now I push, pull, sweep, and then I get overhead. Once I get here, overhead sweep, I control it. Uh, one thing you can do, like just to avoid your opponent from turning to and put on the deep half, okay, is controlling his wrist, okay, while you control feeding the lapel, okay. And then you pass the lapel, so now you can start getting your grip. And to be honest, uh, I figured this position here, when I was rolling, the lapel was already there, you know, by accident. I was rolling, I saw the lapel, and actually I thought it was my own lapel. I'm like, oh, my lapel, and then boom. Both of us wearing the Atos gi. I'm like, oh, this is mine. And when I when I figure it was his lapel, and I'm like, okay, let's do it, and then it worked. Okay. So uh, it's very very strong choke. Okay. Just make sure like if the lapel is strapped and all that. Of course, like if you keep only this choke in mind, you're probably gonna lose the position. Okay. But if you feel like you can open pretty quick and then get it right here, go ahead for that. Okay, of course, there's a lot of transitions we can make right here, uh, such as like attacking the back, going for a tagatami, right, or Ezekiel choke. Okay, there's other things you can do here, right? This is just a plus for you, okay? Mm -hmm. um, now let's pull guard and get the overhead sweep, okay? The other example uh, of an overhead sweep, or another way for you to get the overhead sweep. Is when I'm playing, like let's say, butterfly guard and my opponent has knees on the floor. But right here, you can also control collar sleeve, slide under, bring the knees to your chest. And now here, you need to make a quick transition by pushing him up and placing your feet on his hip, like this. And then, get the overhead, okay? So you can practice this if you want as well, okay? This works more when your opponent's like, he likes to pass with the knees on the floor. He likes to get more half guard on you. Yeah, he wants to go like this. So you push him away, control, slide under, then you 
It's a very powerful sweep. Because sometimes, a lot of times we forget about the overhead sweeps. Okay? A lot of times you hear, you only think about sweeping your opponents to the side, towards his back, or to the other side, and then you kind of like forget about sweeping overhead. Worst case scenario, if the overhead sweep doesn't work, he's gonna give you something else. Either he's gonna close the hand on the floor like this, and then you can start attacking the back, right? Or he's gonna pulse the leg, and then you're gonna go for X guard, okay? So sometimes they, they pulse the leg, and then you're already underneath of your opponent. So practice uh, a lot of uh, overhead sweep. When you're sparring, think about the overhead sweep. Because if it doesn't work, your opponent will always give you something else. Like they're gonna pulse, you go for arm bar, they pulse, you go for a triangle, they pulse, you duck under, go to the back, you, they pulse, you go for a single leg. So there's a lot of positions you can do, okay? And I use that a lot. When I'm sparring, I'm always thinking about that because I know the benefit of the sweep is having my opponent like pulsing because when he pulses, he gives you something else. And if he doesn't pulse, I'm gonna sweep him, okay? So just think about that. So let's practice like pulling guard, okay? Uh, we already done that before. Think about like running to the side, okay? I will circle here, you see? And I circle, like putting the Delahiva hook right away. Once he's squared up, I'm gonna push, bring it to me, and sweep. And notice that when I sweep, I roll over the shoulder that has the Delahiva hook, okay? So I'm not gonna roll over this side right here because he's gonna pose this hand on the floor, okay? So I'm not, gonna, I'm not controlling this side, so if I go this way, he's gonna post the hand. Okay, so you're gonna roll over this shoulder right here because he has nothing to, to post, okay? And also, if you wanna practice from the hooks guard, you need to have a little bit of an explosion by sliding under, bring your knees to your chest, push him up, and then place your feet like really fast on the hip. So I'm here, slide, and whoop, you know, and then I start sweeping. Um, Bruno Alfacini is, is, is uh, a guy that sweeps like that a lot. He's a rooster weight, 10 time world champion. He's sliding under and always uses the overhead sweep uh, really well. And it works, okay? It's a very powerful sweep. All right, let's go. Let's go one, two, three.